Just a few years ago, you wouldn't have seen Ace Hood in the studio. Instead, Ace Hood, a.k.a. Antoine McAllister, could have been spotted on the football field as a rising star on his high school's team. But an injury quickly forced him to switch ambitions. I was pretty dope in, in football, you know what I'm saying? Did my thing, had the letter situations and all that, you know, going on. I pretty much got hurt, you know what I'm saying, in high school around like 10th grade. I ended up getting hurt, hurt my right knee. Once I got hurt, it's like pretty much the letters and everything, you know what I'm saying, started to fade away. The music was always a part of me. It ain't something I just started, it's just something I, I took seriously, you know what I'm saying? At that point in time in my life, it's just something I wanted to be like, you know what, this is what I want to do rather than this, you know what I'm saying? Because love for football just wasn't there anymore. The transition was smooth for this young talent. He teamed up with the local label Dollars and Deals at the age of 17, where he proceeded to grind hard, putting out mixtapes and performing at clubs. This would eventually send Ace down an unprecedented road. I was 17 in 21-year-old clubs, trying to perform, rocking and stuff like that. We put out a compilation CD with the whole label or whatnot. So uh, basically, once we put out a compilation album, whatever, you know, we built a little buzz or whatnot. So, you know, one thing they wanted to do was just, you know what I mean, take me to the next level. I was working on my solo CD, and we had, like, solo tracks. I put out a CD called MOE. You know what I'm saying? It was a uh, MOE, Money Over Everything. We had it buzzing in the city and stuff like that. Through a chance encounter with one of the most respected DJs in Miami, DJ Khaled, Ace Hood got a chance to demonstrate what he was all about. With a dream and an ambition, this Florida native quickly caught his attention. Pretty much showed up at the station, you know what I mean, with a camera, you know what I mean, and a CD and the whip. So we was like, yo, I'm gonna give you the reason why I feel like I should perform at your birthday bash. So basically, my manager, uh, he had the package ready, you know what I'm saying, the CD, the whole bio situation and all that. We listened to it, he was like, yo, he gonna get back to us at a, like uh, when he get off the radio. And once he called my manager back like 11.30, once he got off the air, was like, yo, I'm loving this swag. I hit a starvation in his voice. Met up in that office, Kelly was like, yo, I wanna sign you that we the best music. And ever since, I've been going hard, my dude. Hood was immediately put into the studio with some of today's biggest names in hip-hop. Rick Ross, T-Pain, and Akon, just to name a few. A situation the young MC is not taking for granted. I observe a lot, you know what I'm saying? I observe a lot and I take in a lot. I watch the best to do it, you know what I'm saying? And I do me, you know what I'm saying? Being backed by the biggest cats in the game and, you know, just, just, just having inspirations from them, you know what I'm saying? It helps me to get through it easy, you know what I'm saying? So it's pretty much like, all right, we're going to go in here. I'm trying to do this. I'm trying to do that. Let's go. It's time to rock, you know what I mean? So the next move for Ace was to put out his debut album, Gutter, which dropped in November of 08. It sold over 40,000 copies in its first week, a crowning achievement for the newcomer. It's a classic album, you know what I'm saying? I feel like the street's been waiting on it. It's another real one in the game, and you know Gutter, it's gonna be one of the records you put in, one through 16, you just gonna let it ride. Cause there's a lot of artists, you know, they may get signed, but they ain't got a chance to put album in stores, you know what I mean? So I mean, just for me to have that opportunity as a, you know, a first time artist and all that stuff, and to have an album that's as big as mine, you know what I mean? I'm definitely blessed, right? So now that Ace Hood's name is on the map, backed up by Hip Hop's Elite, there's no denying that he is on his way to doing big things. And Ace Hood isn't settling for anything less. Man, my plan is just to, just to most importantly, man, stay relevant, man, and, and, and go hard, man, and let these people know that, you know, I make people, I make music for the people. It's gonna be a future after me growing up listening to me, you know what I'm saying? So I just wanna be that first representation of my future, you know what I'm saying?